Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. What's your name, my brother? Jose. Jose, you got a question? Yeah, how come they never told me this when I was young? You said, how come nobody told you when you was young? Yeah. Give me, um, give me Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah 28. No, yeah, 29 and 13. Right. Isaiah chapter 29 and 13. They didn't tell us this when we were young because they didn't want us to know. We are, if you ever heard of, of you know what, read that first. We'll get uh, Psalm 82 after that. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. And so it says, As much as this people draw near me with their mouth, talking about us. We are, go to, we are going to Catholic church, we are going to Christian church and say we love God, praise God. We are riding around the streets with the rosary beads hanging from our, our, our rearview mirror. But then when it comes to doing what God told us to do, read. And draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me. Uh-huh. But have removed their heart far from me. So the Bible says our hearts is removed far from the most high. Read. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. We wasn't taught this because the, pre the things that we were taught coming up was taught by men. Men that didn't, didn't want us to know who we were. So we were taught by the precept of men. So they read the Bible, but they read into it their own interpretation. They didn't read what the, what the thus said the Lord. They taught us what they wanted to hear. And why did they do that? Give me Psalms 82. Uh, Psalm 82. You know you from the tribe of Issachar? Yes, sir. Stay right here. Oh. Yeah, 83, 83. Psalm chapter 83 and verse 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. So this is the prophet David pleading before the Most High. He said, don't hold your peace. He's telling, let him know, don't hold your peace. Read. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. Uh -huh. For lo, the Make a tumult. So it says, thine enemies make a tumult. Do you know what a tumult is? Mm. It's an angry, it's a it's a, 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 a meeting that's motivated by anger or hatred. Angry gathering. An angry gathering. So they, he says, your enemies make a tumult. And we, as we read on, it's going to show you who those enemies are. Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. The other nations hate God because he chose us above all nations. Yes, right? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So it says they have taken crafty counsel. So in that angry gathering, they would be, they would make a crafty counsel against us. Against us. Crafty counsel, meaning they was thinking of plots and plans and methods to keep us in sin, to keep us away from our God. That's they know right. we are not keeping God's commandments. They can do whatever they want to us because the Most High God will turn his back on us. Read. And consulted against thy hidden ones. He says they consulted against thy hidden ones. That lets you know that everything that's set up, just like today, set today is the Sabbath day. We're supposed to not be buying, selling, cooking, or none of that. That's but what's right. going on? On Saturday, that's when all of the businesses are opened up. That's when all the sales start. Why? To keep us in the midst of sin. Right. Read. Verse 4. They have said, come, and let us cut them off from being a nation. So 
You heard, you heard that? Yeah, I heard that. So it's, you, your question was, why wasn't we taught this when we were younger? Read that part again. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So the reason they had that angry gathering, that crafty council was to cut us off from being a people, to set things up in our neighborhoods, in our society, so that we would not know who we are. Read it out. Read. Verse five, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. So it says they have consulted together with one consent. So all of the, all of the other nations have consulted against us. And now the Bible going to go into who those nations were. Read. Verse 6. The tabernacles of Edom. The tabernacles of Edom. Edom is the so-called white man. The Bible calls a red man because why? Let's get that real quick. Let's prove that. Because I don't want you to just hear what I say. Genesis 25 and 25. This is the tabernacles of Edom. Esau. You know that. The tabernacles of Edom. The tabernacles of Edom is Esau. Because Esau is Edom. Read. Genesis chapter 20, 25 and verse 25. And the first came out red. So just to bring this up to speed, this was when Rachel was pregnant with uh, Jacob and Esau. So you're familiar with the Bible. Because yeah. you're saying it quite even. So this is when, when Rebecca was pregnant with Jacob and Esau. And she they was fighting in her womb. And she prayed, she prayed like, what's going on? Why is this happening? So this is, this is fast forward, this is when it was, she was giving birth to them, read. And the first came out red, all over like an hairy garment. So it says, and the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. Who does that sound like? The white man. The white man. Now read on. You have to do absolutely right, read. Verse 26. And after that came his brother out. So it says, after that came his brother out. So let's, just, let's see the description of his brother. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. You notice that? It didn't give a description of Jacob. It said, the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. But then it said, the second came out and just grabbed on his heel. Why did it describe the second son? Let's go to Genesis 2 and 7 because we're we in Genesis. What's Genesis to mean? This is the beginning. So this is the beginning. Yeah, get that. Get that Jacob and Esau sign. So let's read why they didn't describe the, the, uh, how Jacob looked. Read. This is Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God for a man of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? Black. Black. It's brown. It's different shades of brown. The deeper you go, the darker it gets. So the reason that the second wasn't the second son was not described is because he looked like everybody else. That's right. But it was necessary for them to, for them to make that distinction to, so we know who Esau is. That's right. Go back to Genesis 25 and 25. Genesis chapter 25 and verse 25. And the first came out red all over like in Harry Garvey. And they called his name Esau. So when it first came out red all over like red like a hairy garment. What do they call the so-called white man in the, the down south? Red. Red what? Uh, red. Rednecks. Rednecks. Why do they call them that? Why do they have that 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 nickname, so to say? Because they're all red. They all red. They blood shows through the skin. So so now jump up to where it say Esau is Esau. Genesis chapter 25 and verse 30. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faith. Therefore was his name called Edom. So Edom is Esau, which is the red man, which we call today the so-called white man. So back to Psalms 83. Psalms chapter 83 and verse 6. The tabernacles of Edom. So these are the, so just to bring us back up to speed, we're reading about nations that took crafty counsel against the Israelites, That's against right. the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. 
So it's no coincidence that drugs is all in our community. Right. It's no coincidence that gang violence is all throughout our community. That's crafty counsel. That's right. They put the drugs in our community. They put the guns in our community. They put these things in our community so that we can continue to be divided amongst each other. You got the light-skinned Negroes against the dark Negroes. You got the Mexicans against the blacks. Why? Because that's, that's all crafty counsel. Read. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites, that's your Arabs. They're against us too. Because what, what do they do? They come and set up shop in our neighborhoods, take all our money, and then put it and they and they back to their land. They got the gas, they got all, just about all the gas stations, whatever well, gas station you go in, that's where they at. Liquor store. Liquor store. In our neighborhood, taking our money. So, you got the Edom, the so-called white man, the Ishmaelites, the so-called Arab breed. Of Moab! Moab, that's your Chinese breed. You know what, they in our communities too. Taking our money, doing the same thing. They, all these nations have come together against us, plotting against us, read. And the Hagarines! The Hagarines, Africans, read. Gabon! And Ammon! And Ammon, that's the Japanese. Read. And Amalek! Amalek, that's your Jewish, that's in our land right now. Read. And the Philistines, with the inhabitants of Tyre. For Africa. So all of the nations have come together to keep us in sin. Give me Joe, uh, Judas chapter 8, 24. Why they do that? Why, did, why didn't they teach us these things while we was growing up? Why didn't they teach us that? Why didn't they show, that, show us that we were the Israelites as we was growing up? Why didn't they show us? Why didn't they show us, hey? No, we don't smoke. You shouldn't be smoking either, my brother. You shouldn't be smoking, brother. That's bad for you, my brother. I just got out of work. You don't got that to me? You got to work. Right, hey, you don't hey, got that to me? Hey, this Bible. Right, hey, man, no, remember. Work. Hey, this is my motherfucking job. Remember that shit. Brother. No, I ain't your brother. Yeah, you my brother, man. You my brother. Read. Judah, chapter 8 and verse 24. Now, therefore, O oh brethren, let us show an example to our brethren. So let me, give me, give me, uh, what's that? that, Jeremiah, no, not Jeremiah, yeah, Jeremiah 50 and 33. I'm going to show you, my brother, how you, how you my brother. Because we are the same people. Just because we look different, just because we look different don't mean that we different people. We the same people. We go through the same troubles and problems. Read it. Jeremiah 50 and 33. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel. The children of Israel are the Hispanic, the, 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 the tribe of Egypt. That's the, the, the Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans, the, the Native Americans. That's no free. The children of Judah. The children of Judah is us, the so-called blacks, the so-called Haitian, the so-called Benjamites. This is the children of Israel and the children of Judah. What? We're oppressed together. We were oppressed together. We suffer the same oppression, but we hate each other. We suffer the same oppression, but we, we don't want to be called one another brother. You my brother. We over here because you all are our brothers. According to the Bible, That's you know that you are the Israelites. According to the Bible, right. you're not Mexican. You're not Hispanic. You're not Puerto Rican. Either. You're not Puerto Rican. You are the Israelites. The Ephraim, the, the the Puerto Ricans. Your true biblical name is an Ephraimite. That's right. Mexicans, your name is Issachar. You are Issachar from the tribe of Israel, from the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. That's, That's right. right. This Bible is your holy book. You've been lied to. Read that again. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. We suffer in the same oppressions, drugs plaguing our community, gang banging plaguing our community. We shooting and killing each other, getting beat up by the police, getting shot down by the police. We suffer the same oppression right next door to each other. We don't even, even live far from each other, That's living in the same community. 
But yet we think we different. When we vote, we all stay in we stay in the city of Chicago. But then you go a little further north and it look whole totally different to Bring my, it how our communities look. Better buildings, better streets, the, the trash cans that's out there, they actually get used. Better school. Everything is set up against us. We have to work day in, day out, blood, sweat, and tears, and then still don't have enough. But yeah, we think we do. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and uh, give me 29. No, 15 first. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So remember, Deuteronomy was written to the Israelites. This is Moses writing to the Israelites what the Most High God said. So he said, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we broke God's commandments, read. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon and overtake thee. That all these curses are going to come upon the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What is a curse? It's something you suffer all your life. You suffer all your life. That's a curse. And now we're going we're gonna to see, we're going to read some of those curses and see if it, if it affects just the so-called blacks or if it affects the blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans. Bring it out. Read. No, jump to 29. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. So it says thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. Meaning you're going to search around. You're, trying to, you're searching around trying to fill that, that so-called void in your heart. That, that you're trying to you're searching around from this religion, that religion, this game, that game. You're just searching around blindly trying to find your way. Right trying to find your purpose. Trying to find what you're supposed to be doing. Right. Read. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. You're going to do these things and next day you're going to lay down at night and you're still going to wonder, man, I'm, I don't feel fulfilled. I don't, I don't know what, what am I supposed to be doing? What am I here for? And then you go, to the, you go to the Catholic church to get it. They ain't giving it to you because they're not showing you that you got to keep God's law. That's right. Now go up to... Um, because we're reading out the Bible. Jump up to 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So it says, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people. Has that happened in the Hispanic history? In the Mexican history? Oh, yeah. That they, our sons and daughters were given to another people? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Teach out. So you know it's been true. Give me that, um... Black Indians out of them. Because this is, if we're reading the Bible, the Bible is showing us that we all suffer the same That's captivity. Not That's not it. That's not Black Indians. Black Indians. Because when you look, when it's, it's, it's widely, it's a widely known thing about the blacks going into slavery. But then you gotta search, you gotta look, search a little deeper to see that the Hispanics suffered the same thing. The Native Americans suffered the same thing. The, the land that we stand on right now, it's our land. It's y'all. Y'all were here, and, and they came over here and took the land. Now they're trying to send y'all to Mexico, saying that you get off, go back to Mexico. No, you go back to Europe. Go back to the Caucasus Mountains. How they gonna kick you off the land that you was already on? They can't do that. Give me that on um, page. You have to. Okay, y'all, read that. Now listen to this. It says your your children shall be. The Bible says your children shall be given to another people. Read what you got. This is black Indians by the road. By William Leroy Katz, page 27. Hey, come, come pull over, y'all can listen. We out here for y'all. We out here so y'all can learn who y'all is according to the Bible. Yes. Read what you got. Title, it began with Columbus. For the people of the Americas, the arrival of Columbus was hardly a blessing. And then what was that? Monday was Columbus Day? Columbus has a date for coming over here and, and taking a land that wasn't his. Well, it's Indigenous Day now. They call it Indigenous Day, so they changed the name of the day to try to, to try to appease because the knowledge is coming out. The, under, the true understanding of what right. he did is coming out, so they try to change the name of the day. Read it out! Read. On his first day, October 12th, 1492, the explorer wrote in his diary, I took some of the natives by force. He later found the original inhabitants to be
be tractable, peaceable. And so notice it said he said it says he took some of the natives by force. And remember, y'all wasn't speaking Spanish when they came over here. Bring it out. That's not y'all native tongue. They came over here speaking Spanish and they forced it on y'all. Like I just said, he, they came over here and took y'all by force. Read. He later found the original inhabitants to be tractable, peaceable, which is still a trait that the Hispanics have. Y'all are very peaceable in some aspects, some of you, some, some of us. Read. And concluded there is not in the world a better nation. His response as a European was to say that Indians must be made to work and adopt our ways. And that go back to the question that you had. Why didn't they show us this when we was, when we was younger and coming up? He said, read that last part again. His response as a European was to say that Indians must be made to work and adopt our ways. So he, he came over here with an agenda. He said they must adopt our ways. That's why we didn't learn this, because if we learned this when we was younger, we're not going to grow up in the ways of America. We ain't going to learn to grow up in the ways of Edom. Esau, I do me and Edom, the so-called white man. That's right. Huh? We're going to grow up, and we grow up in their ways. That's why they have all these churches in our neighborhood. Because right. a lot of us, whether you were black, Hispanic, or Native American, we had Catholic churches all throughout our neighborhoods. Bring it and we was going through Catholic church, a Catholic school and being raised up in their ways. Not our ways, which is biblical ways. Read. The Christopher Columbus, whose unique seamanship and courage had opened the Americas to European penetration, also began the transatlantic slave trade. So this began in 1492, the transatlantic slave trade started with the Hispanics, the Native Americans, and the Indians. It started then. It didn't start in 1619 with us. It started in 1492 with y'all. Bring it out. We're the same people. We suffer the same curses, the yes. same bottom of the bottom of the barrel food that you that they want to give us. Bring it out. Read. He started by shipping ten chain Arawak men and women to Seville, Spain. Wait. So he said he started by shipping ten chain Arawak men and women to Spain. Hold that. Get the Bible back. Let's get doodle because we want to see. We want to show you how this Bible, we went through the same curses. Remember, it said he sent ten, ten chain Alwat Indians to Spain. Let's read that in Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Yeah. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. So we back to the curses. It said the Lord shall send your enemies against you with hunger. The food, we got to go to our enemies to get our food. Thirst, we got to go to our enemies to get water. If you live in a house, you got to pay a water bill to get and clothing, nakedness, that's clothing. We got to go to our enemy to get our clothing. We don't own the the, um, the textiles and things like that. And, it said, and in one of all things, you want to get married. You want to get, your children are born. You got to go to them to get a birth certificate. The social security number, all of that. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So that sound familiar? He said he shall put a yoke of iron on thy neck I read the Bible. Hey, until I read he the have Bible. destroyed I'm you. More than his. We are a destroyed people today because we don't know that we are the Israelites. We walking around saying that we're Mexican. We uh, walking around saying that we Puerto Rican, that we black. We're seeing all these names outside of our God-given name. Now, where's my time? I'm listening. He's contradicting everything we're fucking saying. Three. You don't know what the... Now, verse 49. The last part again. The last part of 48. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So he said he put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Let's get that... Let's get that... Uh, that black Indian again. Okay, verse 49. And I'll fucking give you the verse because I read that whole book. But you have no understanding of the book. That's my problem. I know. So read that again. So the, we just read out of the Bible, Deuteronomy 28 and 48. We just read Deuteronomy 28 and 48. It says, you shall put a yoke of iron upon our neck. So 
Black Indians, page 27. He started by shipping 10 chain Arawak men and women to Seville, Spain. So 10 chain Arawak men and women to Spain. They were sent. That correlates with what we just read in the Bible. Yokes of iron. Read, read this again. I've kept seeing you reading it. In 1498, he wrote enthusiastically to King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella about the business possibilities. From here, in the name of the blessed trinity, we can sell all the slaves that can be sold. When he loaded 1,100 Taino men and women aboard four Spanish ships, the crowding and the stormy Atlantic crossing took a fearful toll. Only 300 survived. So he sent 1,100 Tiano men over on slave ships, and he said only 300 survived. Back to the Bible. Because we, we're showing you, this is historical records, and we correlating it with the Bible to show you that you are the Israelites. You blacks, you Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites. Yes. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.